Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to Savvy Looks, where I like to take outdated or damaged secondhand furniture and give it a whole new life. This week I'm working on this commissioned end table. My client still liked it and wanted to use it in her guest room, but the top was pretty damaged and the style wasn't really what she was looking for. We decided to paint it green based on all the other colors in the room. And my first step was taking off all the hardware and cleaning with a degrease and cleaner and then rinsing it all back with water. Next step was scuff sanding. Scuff sanding is a really important step because it helps adhere the paint to the surface. I paid special attention to the top because of all the flaking stain. And then I switched to my three x four electric ray surf prep sander to scuff sand the rest of the surface. After cleaning off the dust, my next step was priming. I decided to try priming using a Kills spray can of primer instead of my standard roll-on primer. Also, you can see I did do this at night, so sorry that the lighting is not ideal. This priming situation ended up working pretty well. It was a good strategy for getting a lot of primer on quickly, and I didn't really have any drip issues, but it did leave me a bit of a texture, which was okay because I was able to sand it smooth later, but it is something to be aware of. I gave everything a light sanding so that it would be nice and smooth when I applied my paint. I used the color Aloe Green by Melange in my Wagner Flexio 3000 spray gun. I mixed in a little bit of water so that everything would flow really smoothly out of the gun. On my first coat, I was having some issues with my spray gun that later worked themselves out. So the first coat did not go on super smoothly, but that's all okay because that's what second coats and third coats are for. After I finished the first coat, I did two more coats. Next, I applied Varathane Satin Top Coat onto the surface using my spray gun. 
I mixed the top coat directly into the same container that I used the paint for. This is a helpful tip if you're ever top coating a mid to dark color. Mixing a little bit of that paint in helps avoid a streaky or cloudy finish. Now to be honest, I did have some issues with the top. I had a couple little imperfections that drove me crazy, so I attempted to fix them, but it ended up making things worse. And then I couldn't really get the top to work out right, so it took multiple chances, multiple tries, and eventually I got it to look right, but it was a little bit of a long process. Once I was all finished, I began using my Dixie Belle Big Mama's Butter with my La Petite Wax Brush on the drawer rail and the inside of the drawer, which helps everything slide smoother and leaves it with this nice fresh appearance and scent. Next, I attached some new knobs that I had left over from a different project. They're originally from Amazon, and then I was all finished. Let's take one more look at where this end table started, and here it is now. I hope you enjoyed this project. If you did, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. Let me know if you have any questions or video suggestions, and I hope you have a great day.